<sighs> so anyway, I'm going to get off because um, my husband's like going to file for divorce. I think he's writing up the papers right now because he, he thinks I'm the most. Uh, my coffee mug says, choose joy so that my joy may be your joy and your joy may be full. It is a Bible verse. It is not mine. No, I'm not guesting you because I'm scared. You're going to like be somebody that's just going to scream mean things at me and I'm, I'm scared. I can't do it. I can't do it. How about doing an episode of Unsung? Why? I don't believe that people should do things like that unless they're promoting something. Um, and I'm not promoting anything. So there would be no reason for me to do that stuff. That's why people like do episodes and do television stuff and give little hot salacious things is to get more attention to their page i don't want more attention to my page um thing for chase's birthday i mean you guys can look at pictures of my baby what can you show them the thing you made for chase's birthday what did i make for chase's birthday no i'm not making oh my god you're so annoying my mother is a lot she is so much i love her but she is a lot okay what's wrong with that did they see a picture of your dad um, I don't know if they, what what are we gonna take them for a tour of our house? Here's a picture of my great aunt Christine. <laughs> like, no, mommy. Um, my favorite three L W outfit. Oh my god, I think uh, mine was uh, the white Versace outfit that we hated because we couldn't sit down because you wouldn't let us get any stains no, on it. Like, and um, when my mom was mad at us, okay. So my mom. When she was mad at us or, like, we weren't doing, we weren't behaving because we were obviously 13, 14, and, like, 16 or something, whatever, she would give us the outfit that we hated the most, okay? Which was this all-white outfit that we could not sit or do anything for fear of getting it, like, stained. And so, like, we would have to come to her hotel room because she, like, had all our bags. Like, my mom, like, took care of us completely. So she had all our show clothes. And when we walked in and we saw that white outfit, we knew we were in trouble. We knew we had fucked up. We'd done something. What did we do? On the black one in the video. What black one in what video? Oh, baby. Oh, the cat suit? Yeah. I, like I can't even get one leg in that cat suit. I liked all of them. <laughs> And I like the ones that play out on the plate because they look funny. <laughs> um, what video for what, 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 what in the butt? I don't know what you're saying. Sorry. I was talking to my mom. Um, no, I never read any of the books. And, but I was, I knew that, fun fact, my friend Davida actually was the face, I think, of Galleria on the books. I could be wrong. We sh I'm going to ask Davida about that, but I swear it was her. And I was always like, that's so crazy. So, no, I never read any of them, but I did see them and I have them. Do you have your albums? I don't know what that means. Yeah, I keep memorabilia. My Nana does, especially. We've got, like, storage bin, f storage bin full of that. Um, full of stuff. Although the one thing we can't find that my Nana's super mad about, because she, like, it meant a lot to her, um was um the belt buckle from the houston rodeo when we sold it out because that was a big deal you know that was the biggest show we'd ever done we broke elvis's record what um and we got a belt buckle for doing it um and i can't find mine are you excited about 20 years of thrill w i didn't even realize it was 20 years of thrill w but that makes me feel super old what do you want to say i don't did Aqua give bullyish vibes? I don't remember, but again, I did not write the script, you guys. So. Which one? Mother. Show that one. Broke the record in three minutes, did we? That's cool. Oh, Hi, Jada. This one? Um, Rowan just turned two. Oh, Bubba? Baba? Yeah. Yeah, Grandma put up my. Oh, what is that? Um, there were no unreleased videos. No, I don't carry hot sauce. Can you oh, tell your mom to say hey and tell her it's Mecca? Uh -huh. Hey, mommy. Uh, which one? Mom. Mom, me. tell. Wait. Tell your mom I said hey and tell her it's Mecca. Hey. <laughs> What's up, girl? Damn. <laughs> mm -hmm. You guys have some nice people. 
Mecca. Okay. I did tie that shoe. Okay, I did tie my shoe. At least I think I did. Um, but I was dancing very dance. hard. I was dancing yeah. for my life. Dancing for okay. my life. <laughs> <laughs> What's that blue ball say? I was, well, technically, yes, I was lip syncing for my fucking life. <laughs> and I danced so hard, I danced out of my shoe. What was that? Like, David, didn't David no, dance out of his was, clothes? Uh, uh, that was a white Nike. No, mom, in the Bible, didn't, like, David danced out of his shoe? In the Bible? Or David danced out of his clothes? I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up. Whatever. Don't worry. This girl would have picked her own. Uh, which group? No one. Um, no. Her name was Anjanette. Um, not Antoinette. Uh, Aqua has a twin in the books. Um, and technically in the movies, we never talk about her. And I always thought it would be cool. I was like, I could play a twin. But I think they were like, no, bitch, we don't need it. We don't need that much of you. That's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, that's cool. We heart ab. I did not know that. That's super cool. I know, like, we were super feeling ourselves that day, though, because Justin Timberlake was performing in the arena, like, across the parking lot, and we were in the stadium, and we were like, eh. What's your favorite food? Obviously, Justin Timberlake's far more famous. <laughs> but it was a good day. My favorite food is Yes, I'm super happy for Sabrina. I'm sorry, I'm trying to scroll through all of these. I've never done this before. <laughs> yes, I did. I really loved that song. And we had to record, do choreography, and perform in 24 hours. Because, obviously, they like, thrill W. Also, uh, Mom, nobody, no, 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 no. She always interrupts me. I want everybody to know. When Keely would cut her vocals and the producers were like, do this and do that, do a riff. Keely would be like, I'm not no singing bitch. I can't sing. Well, I'm honest. Okay. I just thought that I had to tell that. <laughs> you have one? Um, yeah, so we had to do after this, that Lady of Soul performance in 24 hours, we had to put it together because we weren't originally supposed to do it. Um, but somebody like dropped out or whatever. And we were like, we'll take the opportunity, but we didn't have anything to perform. It wasn't Lady of Soul. Was it Soul Trade Awards? Um, so we had to record a new song, do choreography, and then perform it in 24 hours. So I was I was tired and giving giving it my all. And that shoe just was like, girl, I got to go. Yeah, yeah. But I came back with it. I came back at a good point, too, because I let Jessica yeah. take her whole part. Or Adrian, yeah. I don't remember whose part. It was Jessica, yeah. Yeah, Jessica's pre-course. Yeah. I let her take her whole part, and then I came back coming through. It's okay. We made it work. That was a fun performance. I was a little upset about this. I was really upset about the fact that my hair was curly because it was curly on the red carpet and we didn't have time to straighten it. Because who has curly hair with a full, like, basketball outfit? That's some petty bullshit that I'm mad about from 20 years ago. Okay. I would love to release Point of No Return. But somebody said it's already out. I didn't know that, but somebody said that all of the songs have already been... Um, Released. People always ask, are you guys gonna, would you guys do, uh, I don't know. Again, you guys have to understand, we were teenagers and we're not our record label. So it's not the way, like, music back then, um, just like right after 9 11 was still, like, 9 11 really did change a lot about the music industry, but this was right after 9 11. Music was still kind of in that back in the day thing where the artist doesn't have as much control. The label furnishes your services. They release your music to radio. You don't, like, um, just, uh, what is that? Make a choice in singles. Yeah, you no, make a choice in singles, but also you don't do 360 deals where you have, like, all this control and you can control your merch and you can control all that kind of stuff. You know, we, for all intents and purposes, did what we were told. I'm working on making another baby if my husband will let me. Hi, Jimette. My husband's hot? I mean, I think so. He's a sweet man. I mean, I'm not going to go crazy. My mom thinks so. 
Everybody thinks he's so handsome. But that's just because he's really nice. That's what I love about BJ. Because I'm not a super nice person. I'm kind. Not super nice. BJ is like helpful and nice. And like he just makes you feel uh, welcome and warm. So I think that's what makes him so handsome. Let's try this big I'm reading, I'm reading. Yes, my mother is fucking hysterical. My favorite Killer Keely rap verse on a thrilled up was never no, released. It's wanted, never been released. Wait a minute, the okay. thing is, I always wanted Keely to say after every song, Baby, baby! baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> she really thought I was like Biggie or something. I don't know. And my mom would stand over me and be like, no. Because they thought I had such like a high-pitched voice. Because I was. like, I was like, yo, baby, you're dangerous. You and your kids want to bang with us, maybe. Oh, yeah. I hated that. <laughs> she I did not that. like my voice. And so now I have this super low voice. And I think it's because like I like trained my voice down to be like not so high. Oh, but my favorite rap... Um, from 3LW wasn't released it was I think my interlude on Point of No Return and it goes I've been a mech since 86 dirty jurors kill your key in the mix I keep it thorough stay down for the twist that's why these young cats won't be on my list I loved that one yeah I did like that one that was my favorite um okay what else <sighs> Yeah, right? That's not so fun. Rocket. My mom is a lot, you guys. My mom has so much energy, you're right. I'm doing a beat. Oh no, she's way past menopause. I mean, that's a lot. We're getting, we're getting into the weeds here, but she's 60 something years old. That ship has sailed. 65 and. I don't get tired of talking about the Cheetah Girls as long as it's good, like, it's good memories. I have good memories from most of my groups. I mean, there were bad times, but that was some of the best times of my life. I got to see the world. I got to meet cool, interesting, new people. I got to do shit I would never, ever do if I just stayed in my hometown. So, it's amazing. Okay, let's see. Because we're going to have to wrap this up soon because it's almost nap time. Oh my God, that was the most amazing experience of my life. The Michael Jackson time oh after 9-11. Oh you gosh. guys, he like floated into the room and they were having us rehearse and he goes, this, this is not a machine. This is flesh and blood. We'll rehearse later. And like just left, like swept out of the room and everyone was just like, okay. Woo! I don't care. That was an experience. Okay. Do you ever think you'll be? Uh, no, probably not. Not in front of the stage uh, or in front of the camera or anything. It's just not my cup of tea. I don't like it. I don't love it. And you gotta love it. Ask your mom to manage. You don't want her to manage you. Um. Steal his sperm. What, baby? They're against you. They said I should steal your sperm, Bubba. <laughs> no, I never dated Bow Wow. Um, I accidentally said boo on 106 and Park, and then everybody hated me then. I swear, I've been fucking up since the very beginning, yo. <laughs> I can't get it right. <laughs> can't get it right. <sighs> oh, okay. That's, uh, I mean, it's true. Oh, so what made me do this was because I woke up this morning and everybody was saying that um, I threatened to out Raven and I don't know where that came from. So I was like, let me get on Instagram live because I've never done this before and tell everybody that I didn't. And I'm sure it's going over really well. Oh my god, we want that interlude. I know, it was really good. That was my favorite song. Um, do you agree that as a black woman, we shouldn't be empowering to one another? It, should, it would put you in a better and inspiring position to make amends. I don't feel that I have uh, anything to make amends for, um, especially as it relates to Adrian. Um, 
as far as Naturi goes, if there was ever a reason to apologize, um, all of that has been kind of overshadowed by the literal lies and just like really ugly stuff that she said about my mom and my sister. So no, mm -mm, mm, not interested in it. I'm sorry. So that's my amends. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Not to her. Not mm, girl. Nope. Yeah, she does look good for her 65. I never said Tease was my mom, Tease my sister. People just assume that. Yeah. What do you think about people coming for you about how you pronounce promises? Okay, promises. Promises, promises. Promises, 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 promises. promises. I don't really know. Um, Y'all, you don't know nothing about that Ann Terrace back in the day. Um, So the story behind that, Ann Terrace lisp thing is um this was like a long time ago back in the day when there was no like well there was pro tools but not every studio was running pro tools so the studio perfect pair in, in west orange east orange where we cut no more um ran pro tools so they corrected my terrible vocals because i could not sing um when they went to go mix the record that studio did not have pro tools um and so all of my vocals just sounded like crazy and i remember like it was like middle of the night we get a phone call um we get a phone call and um they're like she needs to come back in and recut all this stuff blah 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 we're like an hour and a half away from the studio my mom was like getting us up getting ready to go back to the studio to recut um and then somebody was like no wait we've got this great plan we'll use this in terrace and it'll correct her vocals and also the added benefit is it'll give her a list that people actually i kind of sounded like i had a list just now oh <laughs> it'll give her a list no, uh, that people will torment her about maybe, for the rest of her life yay no, maybe it's just who grayson uh, uh mm, That's what a little bit yeah okay i have to go down i'm i'm not keeping up with all these people oh my god the hollow movie was terrible stop it I don't know whose ass she was going to beat, but it wasn't mine, girl. Oh, for sure. We love the Cheetah Girls. We would totally do another one. I'm speaking for Sabrina like I'm saying it. I mean, I, she has to have her baby you know, first. Uh, uh, my, I have a dream that you all go and look for the next Cheetah Girl. My mom has a dream. I do. I think that would be nice. You did? I don't even know you saw the Hollow movie. I've never even seen it. I am, I mean, yo. <laughs> no, I said it. I did not throw it, but it was out there. But I'm going to say, again, if I have to choose between dropping my baby sister and a plate of food flying as I'm reaching for someone's neck, I'm going to keep my baby sister in my arms. So there you go. Yes, I like Whataburger. Um, this is my husband's because, like, y'all, I'm in quarantine. I haven't done my hair. I don't even know what this is. It's reverting back to, I don't even know. It's going back to the wilderness. No, no alternative video for no more. That was the first video we ever did. Never Get Enough is my favorite 3LW choreography. Also, the booty breakdown. If you ever saw Thrill of You Live, the booty breakdown was dope. No, nobody's waiting for us. Why do you guys act like you know things? You don't know anything. There is no movie in the works. Nobody agreed to it. Nobody's waiting on me. All of that is a lie. Um, I didn't work with Nas on the first album. Would have been dope if I could have met him because Uchi Wally Wally is like, mm, my favorite. But, um, he just cut his vocal, and that was that. Where do I go to get my hair done? My bathroom. I'm in quarantine, yo. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't... Honestly, here's my thing. I don't see a reason why I would need to go on the reel because I'm not promoting anything, right? So there's no reason to do that for me um, because the reason why people go on those shows is to promote things. The reason why people do Unsung is because they've got a show coming out or an album or whatever. Like Sabrina was saying earlier, she thinks the Raven has an EP coming out. So that could be why all this stuff is happening, right? It's usually in promotion of something. You know, you want a buzz. You want a something to happen. So there's no real reason for me to go on there. And also, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think Adrian wants to, like, have live TV with me. Because, I mean, she's going to have to say, yes, Keely, I did pretend to be your best friend. <laughs> and now... I am not. It's like you were either lying then or you're lying now. You either were my best friend and now you're just not claiming me or you were pretending to be my best friend and now you're telling the truth. So that's why I don't think that's going to happen. But Stranger Things. Um, oh, yeah, Jessica. So beautiful. Um, I'm not in direct contact with her. I do like say tangentially hi because she still talks. Why am I holding my baby spoon? Um, she still talks to <laughs> Tees. She's still close with her. Mommy. Mm hmm. What baby? Yeah. You're live on Instagram. How do you feel about that? Can you say hi? Hi. Can you blow a kiss? Mm. Good job. Yeah. No, there's no beef. <laughs> that would be dope. Honestly, a documentary would be amazing because I think it would be super illuminating to hear like everybody's like things and then you can decide. I think it's just like the tale old story of what happens in girl groups, but my family's been in the music industry forever, so we've seen a lot of this. I think it's just tales old as time. No, I'm not. Bipolar Betty. What kind of name is that? Hey, I um, know, girl. My daughter's name is Rowan. Thank you. Did you just say, hey, I know, girl? Yeah, bipolar. I can, I can relate. My mom is bipolar. That's true. No, I'm happy that everybody is living their dream. I did not want to be in the entertainment industry. I never really did. I enjoyed working in the group. I enjoyed like creating and doing that, but I never wanted to be in front of the camera. So I'm happy for them if that's what they want. And I think that is. Actually, she did it for me. Thanks, mommy. No, remember? I don't. The second hand of I know. I know. Your name says that you're bipolar. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. But you were you were kind of being rude. All right. Um, my name is Keely. Why don't you think you can sing? It's not that I don't think I can sing. I've learned to sing. So I have learned to harmonize. I've learned to try to stay on pitch best I can. But I... <laughs> my mom just said, but I'm not Whitney Houston. Okay. Hi, Bubba. Um, what made you guys choose that name? I love it. Oh, Rowan? It means little redhead. And my husband hates red hair. Um, and so I was like, no matter what, I'm going to get you a redheaded child. And so... Say hi, T. Hello. Oh, it's alive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all, uh, yeah. I'm sure it's all in the shade room already, so good luck. Follow my Instagram, Wavy Sativa. The fucking Instagram name is Wavy Sativa. Follow my Instagram. Wavy Sativa. Oh, no, look, look, look. Look, Charlie, come on. The Fresh Prince of the Basement! Here he comes! This is her boyfriend, Sam. We I'm call him sorry, the Fresh Prince of the Basement. I don't know what you're... I have not been stressed. I've been on Instagram Live, just so, pretending like life doesn't... I don't want to hear it. We, it's okay. I'm going to talk to you because I'm stressed. Why? What's wrong? So it turns out my car doesn't expire till July of next year, but they canceled the car. Okay. They closed your bank account. They just... Yeah. Yeah, they if you don't have money in your account. bank account for a certain amount of time, they'll close it. See, young people, this well, is the I thing. I had money in there. So where's the money? It's still in there. It just uh, used 
somewhere else or at somewhere else that had a like, card. didn't take Western Union. So they People of color it. need to teach their children finances. You know I mean? like, my card this is something I was not taught. My mother never taught me finances, so I'm doing my best the with these youngsters to try to teach them how to manage their money. It ain't easy. Okay, so especially when Wavy Sativa over here. God. Jesus. I don't know who Shanika Knowles is, but I don't think that was a compliment. I'm just going to say, I don't think that was a compliment. It is what it is. It is what it is. Well, she kind of, she, I mean, that's what I'm saying. People that are on TV need ratings. They need promotion. They need that stuff. So if they use it, they use it. I don't care. I'm just bored in quarantine, yo. Look. This, this is what it is. I could watch my daughter watch Charlie's Color Form City. I could talk to the youth about money. Okay. Or I could talk to y'all. So I'm choosing to talk to you guys. Wow, like, Sorry, you had to do what? Wait, Keely, is it true you get paid two thousand dollars in royalties? No. What? It's more than that, but. Well, it's because it, it, royalties come like quarterly, and they don't come for like just one thing. So it comes from like. You'll get like a check for sixty nine cents, a check for six thousand, a check for like. $21.53 a check for like $1.68 so you know you add them all up Rowan's too no I won't be making any more music oh thank you Point of No Return didn't get released because our deal like we got signed to So So Deaf and then it got complicated after we got signed from So So Deaf we released that one song uh, I don't really know. But then we were busy with Cheetah Girls, so like whatever happened was kind of in the background, so it's not, I don't really remember. Yes, everybody gets royalties. I'm going to force you into the studio and record some songs. Don't worry about it. That sounds a little creepy. Just saying. Feeling You is such a good song. What song? Left Eye referred to us as a J.C. Penny commercial. I don't recall that, but she's passed away, so I don't really think we should bring her into this because she can't say anything about it. So I loved TLC. I still do. No, I do not blame my mom for the demise of my group because she did not break my group up. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Ah! Yeah, post just quick. It's just quick. She, yeah, it takes her such a long time. And like, okay, so when this all first happened, this little girl was like two years old. She was as old as this one. Okay, when this all happened, right? We had to do an interview, like talking about what happened, like with the group breaking up and everything. So we're all talking, trying to like be composed and stuff. Mommy, here, here she comes. I just want to clarify that it was not chicken with a bone. Okay, it was tenders. Like that, like that was relevant. No, she said that's what she says was like on her face, which I'm. I'm sure. If she had to drop my baby, all hell. Was on a parking lot. All hell Maybe if I would have dropped her though, she would pay. And her name wouldn't be Wavy Sativa. I'm sorry, that is a that is a lot of a name. Like that sends that sends a signal here, guys. It, it sends it sends a strong message. What do, what are you guys thinking about the Wavy Sativa? Because personally, I'm gonna go ahead and say. But then, why is your name weed related? Because we're chill. Because I'm weed related. That's what she just said to me. <laughs> I'm not that is what I, I she just said answer. to me. I love that. I love that comeback. That was. Well played. That was nice. That was well I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I'm just chill. My page is weird. I'm sorry. She's just not gonna lie to me on IG Live. <laughs> I'm just, I'm there. No. I don't know. I really don't. Why everyone's saying you dated Jay Book? I did not. He was uh, a member of a group B2K? called B2K. Oh, mm, mm, no. No. No, ma'am. How do you know? Like, what are you doing? 
said no meum. No meum. No meum. No. When she said B two K, I just went down the list. I was like, ah. Yeah. Yeah. B two K has had a lot of problems, and not all of them were music related. Why are you breastfeeding a teenager? Because she's two. Oh my god. Uh, oh, they're saying you yeah. could become a distributor. We live in New Jersey. It's not legal yet. I'm, I'm okay. That's, That's not nice. We're working on Adrian it. looks fine. No, we're not. Come on. We're not working on nothing. Not that. I think it's for so. It's Instagram. Because people are people. Like, it's 2020. Did 3LW record a record with Scott Storch? No. Okay, let me tell you the Scott Storch story because this story is sad, you guys. Okay. So we went to Miami. We went to his studio, right? And we were supposed to record with him. And guess who walks in the fucking door, yo? Method Man. Oh, okay. You guys, I lost my shit. He is my favorite rapper. I like wanted to marry him. I had like, I know every single lyric. I don't care. I I know every single lyric to you all I need to get by. You know that song? Mm. Shorty, I'm there for you anytime you need me. Whatever. The point is, I freaking loved Method Man. And do you know what he said to me? Mm-hmm. You talk like a white girl. Damn it! God! Oh, do you know how heartbreaking that was? It's so heartbreaking. <laughs> See, you gotta proper English, and I think that's super racist because what it's saying is that black people cannot speak proper English, and I don't like that. But I also recognize that I do have a little bit of like a eh, eh, eh thing. Yeah, she has that very valley accent that where she moves to, and then she moves to get down. Like when the police come, yeah, then I'm like, officer. Are you? Yeah. Oh my god. This has been a misunderstanding. Oh, I'm so mm-hmm. flustered. Yeah. It was just not a good day for me. I. There and get my coffee, my facts and go through. It's, I love the Fresh Prince of the Basement. He's it's so fun. Like, I'm so, if you would just let me go by, I'm, I promise you, I abide by the law, never did anything wrong. I love you, officers. I, Boys in blue, rooting for you guys. Yes, boys in blue. Thank you. Yes, I'm so sorry, officer. Just please, just this one. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Thank you for, for letting me know. Mm-hmm. I didn't know I was they covering the bike. My mom's like, oh, well, you shouldn't talk to them like that. Yeah, okay. Let me, yeah. Who shouldn't talk to who like that? She, she was like, well, because she was like, you shouldn't go out. And I was like, well, what if I need food? She's like, well, what if you get pulled over? I was like, well, I'll tell them when I needed food. She's like, well, you shouldn't talk to them like that. And I was like, Either way, I could probably get shot just off this. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I don't even have to say words and I could get shot. Like, what, we're 2020, sis. What are you talking about? Like, this is a new decade. We, so crazy. we don't get worse. No, he just out. talks like that. It's a thing. That's why we call him Fresh Prince of the Basement. Because he has this whole, like, Will Smith, like, eh, eh, okay, kind of thing. Yeah. Well, that, he, that he lives in my basement. So, Fresh Prince of the Basement. Oh, my God. Great. Um, I think we had a couple of songs. Tell Fresh Prince I said, what up, gangsta? I don't know if you know him. You might. I don't know. Yeah. Thank you. It is none of your business. Thank you, Cassie. God. Yeah, you go, Cassie. You go, girl. Yeah. <laughs> You're not helping. You're not helping yourself. They're cares. talking about you. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'm weird. You can say whatever you want about me. Words don't phase me, dog. I'm, I didn't live through 20 years. I haven't stopped talking since I came out of my mom. So if you got something to say, I'm right here. I'm bored. We in quarantine. We are I so have bored. Nothing to do. <laughs> like, follow me on the gram. I go on live right now on my own phone. What's goody? I'm with it. It's Nobody whatever. wants to watch you play Fortnite or whatever it I is. I do not play Fortnite. I play Call of Duty. Thank you. We play real man games. Thanks. We're in war. Like, <laughs> come on now. Fortnite. What do you life. play in Call of Duty? Warzone. I've never heard of Warzone. Yeah, I know. It's because it's the... What is like? What's what's Warzone? Is it like Kill it's Confirmed? Like, it's no. It's it's like a it's like a like Battle Royale. Is it basically. like Team Deathmatch? No. no it's just a giant Battle Royale. Thank you. So it's free for all. Yeah, it's team free for all. It's, it's a team death match. It's, it's, it's team free for all. Which it's, it's, it's a big team match. Team death matches on a team. And free for all is every man for himself. No, it's a team free for all. It's like you have to survive 150 other people. But you're on a team? 150 are there people other that, people. Are there, are there people that cannot shoot you? No, everyone can shoot. Then it's free for all. Okay, bye. I'm done with that. What you have teammates? What's your Instagram? They want to know. 
Oh, you scared now? Oh, this is scared now. <laughs> it got really scared. Poor Fresh yeah, Prince of the Base, but I love Sam. Sam. Be nice Sam. to him. Okay, OG Sam, I am. Yeah, he's so funny, right? I love him. Oh, yes, extra time was good. How did your skin get l so much lighter from the Cheetah Girls? Okay, so there's this crazy thing, right? The sun, right? It comes down. And it tans your skin. So when you're out, like... For instance, in Spain, in the, shun it, the sun is shining all over you, you get darker. And then when you're in quarantine and you have not been outside and seen the light of day, you start looking like your pale ass daughter. Oh, I love you. It's okay. Yeah, you're sweet, right? Hi. Yeah. Do you think you're better than anybody else? No. No. Hi. No. How old are you, Pooty Pooty? Show your fingers. How old are you? I am. You're two? Hi. Two? Two. Good job. Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> okay, she's over us. She wants to watch Charlie. Okay. I like Keely on live. Your family is funny and real. Thanks. I'm not the worst person in the world, guys. I mean, I'm not the best, but I mean... I'm not terrible. Like, the people who are friends with me think I'm nice. The people who don't like me think I'm a cunt bag. I mean, that's just like being a person, I think, right? So, there you go. Hi! Oh, you're still talking to Rowan. I'm not the pretty girl that you're talking about. Yep. Sorry, pretty girl's mama. No, I legit was darker, and I would love to be back to that color, but, you know, we're not really supposed to tan anymore, and I used to love being out in the sun, but I also don't want to die, so I'm going to just have to stick to my bronzer, and that's all I got. I'm making more coffee. Keely, you're my celeb crest from middle school. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm almost out of light cream, and I don't want to go back to the grocery store. I have a regular refrigerator. It's not, like, fancy. Nothing about my life is fancy. Thank you. I do a lot of stuff for my skin, so um, <laughs> I was really neglecting myself in every way for, like, the first year of Rowan's life. Um, and I decided to get my shit together. So now I have like a full on skincare regimen. I like work at it and like really try to like, you know, cause I was like, I have no intention of stop stopping drinking wine, which is why I'm 40 pounds heavier than I should be. And so if I'm gonna be thick, this shit gonna be smooth. My mom's meds are kicking in, so she's going to get a little sleepy. What else am I gonna do? Hi, mommy. I love you. Oh my God, mommy! They know songs. We've. You remember that song, High Fashion? <laughs> she doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. Stop. No, I never got the Kate Spade. But let me tell you a funny story. I was in Carter's. Um, and I was picking out like baby stuff and my diaper bag is my sister's diaper bag from, um, when she had her kids, you know, I'm cheap. Um, and I just always loved it. It just seemed like oh, the diaper bag. I'm a consummate little sister, right? So I had, it's like this red Kate Spade diaper bag. And this lady comes and she's helping me. She's looking at me a little funny, but I just keep it pushing. I look like a person who has a one month old baby. Um, and we get to the register, and I go to pay. And I sit my, my diaper bag on the counter, and she goes, oh, I knew it was you. I knew it was you, but the Kate Spade, that confirmed it. <laughs> I was dying. I had to call my sister. It was like, the bag outed me, because I never had a Kate Spade bag before that. Oh, thank you, guys. You're sweet. Ah, all right. So we're going to log off. And the baby in the... Never get enough video was the your little sister. They know, mommy. 
And it wasn't your baby. They know. I loved filming House Bunny. It was the most amazing experience of my life. Anna Ferris is salt of the earth, nicest person, like, was the star of the movie and, like, would ask every person how they were doing and, like, would wait to hear a response. And that's rare, okay? That is, that is not common for people in the industry in general to care after they're like, oh, hey, how are you? They usually just keep walking. She, like, stopped and looked you in the eye and wanted a response. It was amazing. Um... Kat Dennings, obviously, is amazing. Emma Stone is fucking phenomenal. Like, I got to be around. Stop telling me stop cursing. I curse on my Instagram. Mama curses. My mom is telling me I got a potty mouth. So anyway, yeah, there you go. Girl, answer me. I need to hear this. I don't know what your question was. What do you do on your birthday? Wait. I don't know what your question was. I'm sorry. I'm going to get on live more often. I usually I'm scared of this stuff because most of the time, like, yo, Insta's rough. No, it is. I mean, people are just mean. And some, like, honestly, especially when I was pregnant, like, I was not in any kind of mood to be hearing people telling me to kill myself. And I can't tell you how many people tell me to kill myself, okay? I think that's... I have filters on my Instagram like page so you can't say certain things because like it's not that it affects me and I know people are like oh it's just like it's just Instagram it's just blah 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 it's just people trolling blah 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 and I understand that intellectually but like the first thing that you do in the morning usually people check their phones the first thing in the morning like the first thing you read it shouldn't be something hateful like you shouldn't fill your day up with that so I try to avoid it and not really read comments but yeah, so I try to avoid it, but I'm going to try to put myself out there a little bit more. I don't really see the point, because I'm not promoting anything, but... Hey, it's 2020. People just do this shit now, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, stay safe and inside, and I'll get on live more, I think.